very lucky and um, try and think outside of what you see in the inverters that are out there because oftentimes the best ideas come from outside of what you're looking at. Actually, almost always. Almost always the great ideas don't come from the right sources. So when I give people speeches, I talk about where did the great ideas come from uh, that revolutionized everything? Well, the first one is easy. I mean, you can look at uh, you can look at the Wright brothers that invented the airplane. France, Germany, uh, England, they had tons of people who knew everything about how to fly. And two bicycle repairmen. They didn't even make bicycles. They only repaired them. And they came up with the airplane. And then you look at you know, um, Henry Ford, and you say, well, uh, he invented the assembly line. No, he didn't. No, he flew over the top of the slaughterhouses in Chicago. Cows went in this end, Hamburg came out the other end, and he said, hey, there's got to be something going on here. And so <laughs> he had him land the plane, and then he went inside, and he watched cow disassembly, and he thought, all they do is go backwards. And put it together instead of taking it apart like a cow. So you have to sometimes look at some of this stuff and say, well, that's what everybody says now, but, but maybe it's because they've always done it that way. And one of the problems that we have is that many people only want to copy. They'll, they'll change a little bit, but they don't want to go too far because they're afraid of failure. But you know what? Um, you, you talk uh, another guy that is the guy that invented the light bulb. Okay, Edison. So, how much edi how much education did Thomas Edison have? How many years of university or whatever? What do you think he had? How much? Grade three. He went to school for three years. <laughs> he read a lot. But at the end of the day, his mind was always looking. He didn't care about failures. He said, he said, um, if I fail a thousand times and I get something, I'm in. But other people, they worry about it. And they have one failure and they're out. It, you, can't, you can't really become a good inventor if you're worried about failure. You just, okay, well, that, Henry Ford said, every time I fail, that's a good opportunity for me to start again with more knowledge. And that's, so failure is a good thing, not a bad thing. It's, uh, it's something, stretch out and, and try things. I mean, you're very, very lucky. Um, uh, I've been on the planet for about 73 years. And you know what? Um, never, in all those years, never in all those years, did I see so much opportunity for an engineer to stretch out and come up with new, new ideas, new concepts, new ways of doing things. Uh, for instance, uh, yesterday, I got an email from, uh, from one, of, uh, one of my people, uh, Sue Smith, and Sue Smith says, this is very, very interesting. You should have a look at it. Someone has invented a new plastic that doesn't act like plastic. It's conductive. It's thermal conductive. Now, we've known about cool polymers for a long time. This one is conductive. It wicks a lot of heat. So now, what? okay, so Tesla glues all their, their battery cells together with a pipe. And, we, and as Corey said, we're very excited. They, they put the, the, cool, uh, the cool fluid comes in, goes into a, a basically a, a connector block, and it comes back out in the other direction. So I'm starting off with, at the top, the coolest water. At the other end, I've got moderate water. Now it goes around, and now on the bottom, I've got that same uh, same battery cell. It's getting the hottest water on the end, so it got the coolest at the beginning and the hottest at the end, and everything else is balanced. What a great idea! But what about this? What if what if we could have a polymer like a like a plastic that eliminated that eliminated that cooling plate? If I can wick the heat away, if the heat can be um, extracted through this new plastic. Well, game, it's a new game. So a great idea before, now who cares? And, and you move to whatever the new one is. And that's kind of like what you have to do. As soon as you think you've got the answer, you have to start thinking about, okay, that's not good enough. What's my new best answer? 
and that uh, and that's kind of that's kind of like what you you have to be challenged with. But I'm telling you, nothing, nothing in the last since 1900, since the year 1900, nothing has ever been as dramatic as what's going on right now with the new propulsion systems, batteries being the the, the ultimate focus, electric uh, electric drive on everything, um, and and then the addition of using um, hydrogen. Okay, now I'm not I'm not an advocate of hydrogen in cars. It doesn't make any sense financially. You can't make it work. But for aircraft, for ships, for big trucks, all day long, right? Think about it. The possibilities here are just absolutely endless. And you're lucky enough to be young, and uh, you'll get the opportunity to uh, to try something out. For me, I was an engine engineer, and like Corey said, you try and get one, like a, like a drop more gasoline or less gasoline was a big deal. People pat you on the back and call you a hero. Now, now you can you can. <laughs> I think that the next generation electric motors, powertrain in general, is going to be truly exciting. A lot lighter, um, a lot more efficient, and a lot more power. A lot more power. So I, I think, like I say, you, you got, you're, you're very, very lucky. This time is going to be, this is going to be a time when everyone will say, ah, in the 1900s they went from horses to cars. But now they're going to say, ah, oh, they went from ice uh, petroleum products uh, burning things to you know clean 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 and efficient uh, energy so it's it's the same we're in the same kind of a situation where it's everything is dramatic everything is dramatic so you're very lucky yeah, yeah. any other questions <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I gotta go home with it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been on forever. <laughs>